In this video, I'll be telling you a shortcut of writing your automation steps that you were writing in the VB editor. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be writing that code in the browser console window itself. To open the console window, you need to open developer options and the next tab, which is console, you need to click on that. And here you can write your script in the form of JavaScript. So don't worry, we are not going to learn JavaScript in detail. I'll be just covering the basic commands that we are going to use and more or less these commands are same as what we were writing in VBA as well. So let's say you want to click on this AB testing link. Okay, so I inspect this element and I found that this is anchor tag with href AB test. All right. And if I check the parent, it is a list item under this unordered list. Now in VBA, we were using a HTML document object to access elements on the page and perform operations on them. In JavaScript or in console window, again, we need to use that document. So you need to use document dot the same functions that we were using there. So get elements by tag name and then in double quotes UL. Now the beauty of this console window is that you see the results on the runtime on the page itself. So you can see here it returns a HTML collection which has multiple unordered lists in it. So if I give the index that I want to access only the first one. So what I can do is I can provide that index in square brackets. Remember in VBA, we were giving this index in round brackets, but here in console, you need to give it in square brackets. So if you give it like this, you'll be getting the first element, which is unordered list on this page. Okay. So if you want to see all the list items under it, what you can do is you can use dot get elements by tag name after that and give the tag name as list elements. So when I run this, you see that we have this collection of list elements and there are 44 elements you can see here. And if I mouse over on any of these elements on the console window, it will be highlighted in the main window of the browser itself. So it becomes easy for you to understand the element where you are actually trying to perform operation. So that is the intent of explaining this entire thing to you through JavaScript and browser console window so that you can visualize how you are selecting multiple elements and then how you can navigate or traverse through them to select the targeted element. Now, if we want to click on the first item of the list, which is AB testing, what you need to do is you just need to give that index zero and you would see the object here in the console window itself. You can further expand it to see what this element actually is. So it is a list item and under that we have an anchor tag. So that is the anchor tag which is holding the URL and we need to click on that anchor tag and not on the list item. So therefore I need to modify the selector once again and after this list item I need to further say that I want to click on that anchor element. So get elements by tag name. Let's say for time being I'm using only the tag names. So tag name I give as A and then first index. So I put zero here. Now I'm targeting to the right element. If I use dot click it would be clicking on that link. And you can check the click operation here itself. If I do like this, it would be opening a B testing page. All right. Now we have the statement ready for us. You can copy this entire thing and paste it in your VB editor and just replace those square brackets with round brackets. So we have used get elements by tag name and the indexes. We can also use get elements by ID, get elements by class name and test our code here on the console itself. So let's say I'm talking about this page where we can add and remove elements. If you click on that button, it will be adding some elements under it. And if you click on those buttons, those would be removing the buttons. So let's say I want to find element by ID. What I need to do is document dot get element by ID and I'll try to find out an element with ID. We can see here, this is the div whose ID is content. Okay. So I can just put that ID in double quotes as I give in the VB as well and I put here to see the element on the console itself. So it shows me only that portion of the code and it becomes easy for me to analyze this element here rather than viewing it in the entire HTML and scrolling up and down. In the similar way, we can also search using class name, but the class name method actually returns an array of elements or in this case, it would be giving you a HTML collection. So you can give the class name and see, for example, I want to search for content class name, I get that collection. Or if I search for example class name, I get this collection. Okay, so you can see the results for first one, I get zero, but
but for this one I get one as a result because there was one element with that class name present on the page the content was actually the ID and not the class name that's why there was no element whose class name is content on that page now let's say if we target to click on this button add element so that element is present in the division whose class name was example but what happens is when we click on this button it add more buttons on the page and all these come under another division which is example so we always need to click on the button which comes under the first division so that's why i search this class name example and then i specify index 0 because all the other buttons which we'll be creating after clicking on this button would come after that index okay so 0 means i want to target the first element now we have reached to that division we want to click a button inside that division so i use dot get elements by tag name after this and then i give the tag name as button now again it returns multiple elements but we have only one button inside that division so i give the index as zero and then dot click would be helping me in clicking on those buttons so you can see that a delete button is added below that add element button and if you perform this operation multiple number of times you will see a new button added with every click operation now if you want to add 100 buttons what you need to do is you either need to write these steps 100 times or you can use a for loop in vba you can write a very simple for loop that for i starting from 1 to 100 or from 0 to 99 and then place this statement inside that and it would be repeating that statement 100 times in javascript on the console window if you want to try that for loop so the syntax is a bit different what you need to do is you first of all need to initialize the counter variable so where i equals 0 is initialization a javascript statement ends with a semicolon so i put a semicolon after that and then for and in round brackets i would say that i equals 0 i less than 10 or 100 if you want to create 100 and i plus plus and then you need to start the loop with a curly brace start and then you can terminate it with curly brace whatever statement you want to repeat you can keep it side we want to perform that click operation so i just pasted that statement inside and you see here we have 10 buttons created now if you want to repeat it for 100 just change that counter to 100 and it would be starting from zero and it would create 100 buttons for you okay so that is pretty much about javascript we'll try to write the same code in vb editor as well so i have the code handy with me for opening that page and then we have the document set which is ht what we need to do is ht dot get elements by class name the class name was example and i can put the example class here and then i want to click on the first instance of it i give the index here in round brackets in vba so zero here and then dot get elements by tag name we were clicking on the tag name button so tag name i can specify here as button and again since it is giving us multiple elements so i need to give the index as zero because there is only one element present with that tag name so after that we can use dot click to click on that item and if you want to repeat it for 100 or 10 times you can put it inside a loop the syntax of for loop is very easy here so for i equals 1 to 10 it automatically does the initialization for you so i equals 1 means the first value would be initialized as 1 and then it will move up, up to 10 okay and then you can terminate it with next after that i put a wait let's say for 10 seconds so that we can see before it actually quits that browser so i run the code you would see it has added 10 buttons for you so that's how we have written the code now you must be feeling a bit comfortable in writing this kind of code you can try it on various other examples and believe me that if you try the same code on your console window it would be saving a lot of time rather than you put a lot of watches and try debug the code in vb editor as well so i'll see you in the next video with another example of data scraping